Hey everyone, welcome to New Tech Pro channel. I spread out a whole range of TDAs and class D amplifier module on the table. In this video, we are going to explore their differences, strengths, and which one might be perfect for your next project. So stick around till the end to find out which arm really delivers. Let's go. This is a typical Class D amplifier board. Compact, efficient, and full of modern components. Here we see a TDA-based amplifier board using a classic integrated circuit design with larger passive components. Let's compare Class D and TDA amplifiers side by side. Notice the differences in layout and form factor. Class D amplifiers work by switching transistors on and off rapidly, improving efficiency and reducing heat. TDA amplifiers operate in analog mode, amplifying the input signal directly, which makes them simple but less efficient. One of the key advantages of Class D amplifiers is their size and efficiency, making them ideal for compact setups. TDA amplifiers are often praised for their solid build and stable performance, especially in low-power applications. When it comes to efficiency, Class D clearly leads consuming less power and generating less heat. As you can see here, TDA board amplifiers need a big heatsink for cooling for this module this heatsink and for this module uh, you need use big heatsink here and here and you can see here uh, class d board amplifier is very small very very small you can see here class D board amplifier is very small. For next, please subscribe New Tech Pro channel and comment opinion and support us. Thank you very much. Let's go to next. Power output can vary, but class D typically delivers more power per size unit compared to TDA based amplifiers. Class D amplifiers dissipate very little heat, which is why they often don't require large heat sinks. In contrast, TDA amplifiers can run hot and may need additional cooling, especially under continuous load. Class D amplifiers are commonly used in modern home audio systems due to their sleek size and energy efficiency. TDA amplifiers remain a reliable choice in car audio systems, where robust performance is valued. Class D boards can be more expensive, but their long-term efficiency may justify the higher upfront cost. Sound quality from a well-designed Class D amp can be very clean and dynamic, suitable for high-fidelity audio. TDA amplifiers may introduce slight distortion at higher loads, but they still perform well in most cases. Here's a look at the size comparison. Class D wins in portability and space-saving design. Because of their small size and low power draw, Class D amps are ideal for portable speaker systems. TDA amplifiers are still widely used in home stereo systems where space and power efficiency are less critical. One of the main selling points of Class D amplifiers is their very low power consumption. TDA amplifiers draw more power for the same output, which may reduce battery life in portable applications. Class D Technology often results in better long-term reliability under demanding conditions. Modern smart devices often integrate Class D amplifiers for efficient, compact, wireless audio. TDA-based systems tend to rely on traditional setups with manual control and analog connections. In the end, the choice depends on your needs. Modern, efficient Class D or traditional, simple TDA 